Hibby here with Hibby's Homestead, and this is my ADC kit. Or everyday carry. I'm a power line clearance arborist, so right now I'm working a day away from home, so it took me a day to hike back home. So I'll try to keep this video short, but uh, this is what I carry with me so that in an event I'm stranded at work, that uh, I have a way to get home back home. So, first thing is always important to always keep a knife on me because I'm on my right side, I always carry my 6 hour P938. Let's go ahead and unload that since my daughter's right here. So, as you can see, nothing in the chamber. This is my container of water, stainless steel, so I can boil in it. Keep that on my outside there. Uh, I keep this in a little pouch. And uh, I got a little bit of stuff in here for long term as well as short term. So I keep it on the weekends with me. So uh, I got some stuff in here for long term survival also. But inside this can here, I keep some. Uh, I don't know if you can see this. I got my arrowheads in there. And I also got some oiled up uh, dryer lint. So that'll start a fire real quick. Zippo. I always keep one of these on me. I'm a power line clearance arborist, so it's, uh, you know, I have one already, so might as well carry it with me. Yeah, it's a little handsaw, you know leather scabbard and that's going to come in real handy if I need to build a shelter. Always keep a compass, a good knife sharpener and then I always carry some uh, sail needles and just a regular set of needles there just in case I got to do some stitching. So I also carry some thread for fishing. This is this is uh, nylon so it's uh, pretty strong and it's basically fishing line. I got my cover, one of the five seasons of survival, cover, cordage, cutting tool, container, and combustibles. And here's my cover here. I always carry at least three rules of three. I always carry three bandanas on me all the time. These are just good for haversacks. I can carry things into it. I can use them for stopping blood. I can use them to for making poultices for filtering water, do the tiered system. You can do your leaves in the first set. You can do sand in the second set. Activated charcoal in the third set. Water purification tablets for drinking on the go. This is my cordage bag. I always keep a little bit of cordage in here. Now I got here is some um, throw line. That's a little thicker stuff for tying tarps and making tents. Stuff works really good, it's really strong. So I use that for my shelter. Then I've got some bank line. This stuff is awesome. It's made of nylon, so it melts. So it's really good for making stitching um, three strand. So you can um, unweave it, and you got stuff small enough to make thread out of. So you can sew with it. Just good for all about everything, you know. This is a great line to have, bank line. Good for fishing, everything. Need to make some traps? This will help you make traps, bird traps, nets. I always carry some on. That goes back in the bag. And then I got, always keep some natural cordage. So I got some hemp here. Just some hemp twine, it's just a real cheap stuff. Inside here I keep some spear tips. That way there I can tie it onto a stick and make a spear out of it. Here I got an emergency poncho. That works also for another form of shelter and coverage. Keep some extra wax on me. This is Greenland wax made of beeswax and paraffin. Uh, you mix it together with a three to one ratio, one part beeswax, three parts paraffin. And it gets you, uh, this is used for waterproofing. So you can waterproof your coats, your jackets, your clothes. 
And then uh, it's also good for bow strings, keeping stuff like that good and taken care of. And then I also always keep a flex cut on me so I can sharpen and make spoons. Um, good for carbon. Make bowls, trenchers. Always keep a little bit of dryer lint in there. Uh, good for a fire starter. Got a headlamp so I can see in the dark. Leatherman multi tool. And I keep my secondary knife. And I keep my secondary pistol. This is a Ruger 40 caliber. P94. Empty. This is my primary knife. Habilis Tools Bush Tool. Really good knife for processing wood. It's got the nice top there for striking. And you can choke up on it real good for fine work. Got a ferrocerium rod on there for starting fires. And I always keep a little bit of extra paracord there just for whatever. Always carry some matches just in case my lighter runs out. Rules of three. I keep all my matches in there along with a couple striker strips. A little waterproof container. We do a lot of races. So we always get tons and tons of free goo shots and picky bars and goos. But I recommend it. I don't like running on these. These are kind of gross in your stomach and give you kind of an upset stomach and sugar belly. So I don't like eating these. But I keep them in here just in case. Badger Balm. I use this stuff for my lips. I love this stuff. It's awesome. Use it on my hands. Uh, it'd be good for treating bowstrings. Leather gloves. So these are good for harvesting stinging nettle and stuff like that. So you can eat it, you know, and digging. These are the Arterix gloves. They are phenomenal. I'm going to be doing a review on these soon. These are awesome gloves. And this is the second part of my container system. And it's just a little stainless steel cup. Another, another way of boiling water and storing it. Always carry a couple extra wool socks. You never know when you're going to need them. And, uh, It'll make sleeping a lot better if you got some wool socks. Plus, they also work as a container, also. And I carry some extra thinner socks. Same reason. They make a good container. Uh, they're great for uh, straining stuff. So if you got some acorns, you can stuff them in there, and then uh, you got plenty of room in there for a lot of acorn pulp. And then you just masticate it and throw it in the river and let it sit, and then that gets rid of all the tannin in it, so you can eat it. Make some uh, pancakes. Just carry a balaclava. You know, that's going to make sleeping a lot better. I live out in the Pacific Northwest, so there's a lot a lot of cold nights and wet and miserable. So it's always usually, you know, this winter has been about, uh, you know, 33 degrees. So it's raining. And then, uh, yeah, that would be pretty miserable sleeping. And that's why I always carry a couple tarps. A good shovel. I carry a collapsible shovel. This can be good for building a shelter. Also good for digging uh, roots and tubers. As you can see, I have already actually used this quite a bit. Didn't wash it off before I threw it back in the bag. 1,000 calories and nuts. That's my EDC. Thanks for watching. And uh, stick with me because um, I'll be going to the coast soon. And uh, that's going to be an at least four or five day hike home if uh, I'm ever standing there. So I'll be showing you another video on uh, what I take with me to the coast. This is my one day bag, overnight bag. It's a little ridiculous, but I like being a little bit overprepared. So, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. God bless.